Welcome back to the City Circuit Challenge, NBA Street. This is the uh, the first game in the Southern Division. Obviously, there is no uh, Southern Division in the NBA, so they've changed it up a little bit, probably because at the time there was only four divisions in the NBA. There was two in each conference. Now we've got three, as uh, there's been more teams added. But now we've got... Uh, in this game, we've got... I'm not sure how many... Actually, I haven't gotten that far into it, but there's only four teams in this in this section. Uh, there's Charlotte, Orlando, um, Atlanta, and Miami, I believe. I just had a quick look over them before I, I decided I chose to play against Charlotte. Now, I, I chose Charlotte because I want to get this guy on screen, Baron Davis, and you probably see why immediately. Incredible handles in this game and the ability to finish at the rim with some explosive dunks. Um, Boy, he's a nightmare, though, the card. And that's exactly why I want to get him. Because you can see the squad that I've picked so far. It's Vince Carter, uh, Alan Houston. I went with Biggs. Um, I'm not exactly sure why. <laughs> uh, just because he pretty much tore my team up last time. And I figured he'd, he'd be fun to at least try. Uh, I, I want to improve the big man situation, too. But I'm not too sure if Biggs is better than Marcus Camby. Uh, I'm not sure if he's worse, either. So I've got to give him a, give him a go. There he is, uh, right on cue, getting an alley from Carter and throwing it down. But uh, I definitely need to get Baron Davis, as I was saying. That's why I, I picked Charlotte straight away to, to go up against him, because I want to get that good point guard. If I get that good point guard, then the positions at least can start coming into play, because I want to get a good point guard that can finish. I want to get a good explosive uh, swingman like Vince Carter or... Kobe or T Mac, T Mac, who I want to get, I'll, I'll probably play after I beat Charlotte. And then I want to get someone like a KG up front. And the reason that I, I think that's a pretty good balance because those guys can do it all, but they're still defined in their positions and know what they're doing. So uh, hopefully uh, I'll be successful in this in this trip. Steve Francis is another guy that I really want to get. You'll see the uh, a little bit of glitching there, a little bit of speeding up. And that was a problem with the recording. Uh, the the video capture software was having a bit of a fit at times, which made it uh, challenging to say the least. But no excuses. And uh, see Vince Carter there. For whatever reason, that ball hit the back of Alan Houston. But um, yeah. So Baron Davis at this time, people forget. You know, they they, they want to. A lot of people think of him as bit of a team cancer he was an absolute amazing player back in 2001 which is when these rosters were finished this guy along with Jamal Mashburn had an incredible playoff run too remember this uh, Charlotte team finished six in the uh, in, in the conference in the east and they swept Miami and Miami who were led well, I guess you can say led by Tim Hardaway and Alonzo Mourning not so much that year though Alonzo Mourning had a uh, kidney failure which caused him to miss quite a a long period of time, I think it was around 60 games, he came back, um, but it was really a shell of himself. And Tim Hardaway wasn't him, he, he had been broken down by injuries by that stage as well. So that Miami team was really Eddie Jones, who they traded with, uh, with Charlotte ironically for Jamal Mashburn. Uh, but it was Eddie Jones along with Anthony Mason, rest in peace to him. And those two made the all-star team. I, I, I know Anthony Mason did in 2001. I'm not sure if Eddie Jones did or not. I probably should have looked that up. But uh, that was Anthony Mason's only all-star appearance. And they also had Brian Grant too. So on paper, that team would have, you know, if they were all healthy, that would have been one hell of a squad. Be, you know, it's a big front line too. Morning, Brian Grant, and Mason. And then... If you got Eddie Jones is healthy, all these guys, and Tim Hardaway, if he's on, you know, he's, he's a very good shooter, very good point guard. He can really control the game. But regardless, that Charlotte team swept them, despite being the sixth seed. And the, the this was uh, just before it was it was two seasons before the um, the NBA changed the format to a best out of seven in the first round. So it was, they, they swept them in three games. That three, that game breaker, that was so close to being blocked. I'm still not sure if you can block a game breaker, but if you can, that was about as close to getting blocked as possible. Um, but yeah, getting back to Charlotte and Baron Davis, Baron Davis and uh, Jamal Mashburn absolutely lit them up. They swept them and then they nearly, very nearly beat 
that uh, Milwaukee Bucks team, they're up three games to two, and they had a home game in game six to, to win that series. But uh, Sam Cassell and, and Glenn Robinson were big in that game six, and then in game seven, Ray Allen stepped up finally. And uh, yeah, so that was maybe the best Charlotte team, or Hornets team, which is now the Pelicans team, in the history of, of, of that franchise. And Baron Davis doesn't get enough credit for it. Here I am trying to dribble out their game breaker. Absolutely jack up a prayer. And it's a success. Uh, Alan Houston, of all people, is able to get the, uh, the board. He's dribbling around. I'm running for my life because I know Baron Davis could easily steal it. And then I'm uh, realizing I've got no turbo left. And I'm really worried. Um, I realize the, uh, the game breaker is out. And, you know, that, that came up beautifully for me when you look at it uh, I could easily have gone down big um, but I end up hitting the three as well so I couldn't have asked for much more and I, I I'm not gonna lie I lost my focus at that point and even though I'm up by three it seems like if you dribble out their game breaker they come out really really hard and the momentum still is on their side which is kind of cool but you've got to match that momentum I clearly didn't at this point and I started to make idiotic plays even though I'm only up by two um, a part of that is look, I, uh, some of these players I don't know how to use and this is a new game to me let's not forget that you know so a part of me wishes this had online I mean this would be so much fun playing three on three online like this um, just because of the matchups I mean if you if you you know if I had it my way I would have picked a, a team of my favorite three would have been uh, from this era probably would have been Iverson T Mac Gunnett right so you could say well to hell with that I would rather a lineup of you know uh, Shaq Kobe and Stevie Francis and keep the, the you know the amazing back and forth you would have there would be so much fun then you throw some legends into it oh my goodness you know you could have you know, the, the, the big three from the Bulls, Rodman, Pippen, Jordan. Or you could have Magic, Bird, Kareem. You know, obviously they're not on the same team, but you could make them on your team, and that would be a lot of fun. Or you could have Dr. J in there too. It would, it would be incredible. So back in my mind, I'm sort of thinking about that. And we're in a spoiled situation, really. Uh, once again, there's that situation with a, a dunk missing, but somehow counting. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to know uh, which... Uh, Basketball aficionado uh, came up with that concept. If you miss a dunk, you get the, the bucket anyway. Um, but yeah, I, I, I would love for them to remake this. They would never do it because of the licensing issues, but if they remade it, and they remade it with online gameplay. And that would... I, I would be a very happy man. Hell, I would pay full price for, for the game for that. Um, regardless, this Baron Davis. I've rambled on about really nothing. I haven't really spoken about the game. We you know, win by two territory here. And uh, I don't know why I didn't look for Alan Houston here, uh, to be honest with you. Maybe I did. Let's have a look. No, I'm dancing with Vince Carter and he's doing nothing with it. And he's getting blocked and he's getting served. I should have gone to Houston. I knew I should have. Um, good defense by Carter, though, to get back into the play. But the AI is kind of questionable on your own team at times, which is really frustrating. I guess they're trying to uh, get you to control all of them, but you can't do it all at the same time. And uh, I was guarding Baron Davis, but, you know, the AI who was on oh, um, bigs, I believe, got beat back door and alley-ooped. <laughs> and e easy bucket for him. Now I'm starting to use Alan Houston. And uh, his dribbles are a bit... I'm doing the same move over and over again, but it worked. And there's a big three, and I'm going, going up by 122-21. Obviously, it's a win by two. And uh, Baron Davis is dribbling the ball up now. But... That three, that hook three, a left-handed hook three, with contested no less, drops. <laughs> of course, of course. And then I turn it over, and that was a big block, a massive block, but once again, I can't guard the back door, and this is my first loss. So, uh, I think I'm going to go and use Jordan for my next one. I've been wanting to use him, so I'm going to use him next in this next game.